oceans. A fascinating ecosystem challenging scientists with new discoveries every day. What influence do the oceans have on our climate? How do humans affect the marine ecosystem? What resources are hidden in the deep sea? How can we protect ourselves against marine natural hazards? Scientists from GEOMAR, Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research, Kiel, explore the oceans as a whole, from the deep sea to the atmosphere. From the Kiel Fjord, in the very north of Germany, they set out to answer urgent questions of society. Human impacts on marine ecosystems. How does our way of life affect conditions in the ocean? Yago is employed to accurately investigate changes in the oceans. Germany's only manned research submersible is based at Geomar. During their Yago dives, scientists come as close to their subjects as possible. They carry out regular inspections of cold water coral reefs along the Norwegian coastline. This fragile ecosystem will be altered dramatically by climate change. How does life in the oceans react to rising carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere? Mesocosms provide scientists with a glimpse into the future. These experimental facilities, floating in the water like giant test tubes, were developed in Kiel. Inside the 25 meter long plastic tubes, scientists simulate the process of ocean acidification. In water, carbon dioxide reacts to produce carbonic acid. The pH declines. Creatures building their skeletons and shells from calcium carbonate are particularly susceptible to ocean acidification. The food web must adjust in response to this effect. Ocean acidification has already started, but scientists have only just begun learning about its effects. The role of oceans in the climate system. Ocean circulation patterns determine temperature, wind and weather in the different regions of the Earth. On the other hand, how will the circulation change as the ocean warms? What will these changes mean for life in the oceans and for life on land? A global observation system delivers real-time data for climate calculations. As part of this system, 3,500 deep-sea drifters follow the currents, recording temperatures and salinities at depths of up to 2,000 meters. Scientists from GEOMAR use up-to-date techniques to obtain more information about the different layers within the oceans. The Institute operates one of the largest glider fleets in Europe. These underwater robots sail on a defined course to measure temperature, turbidity, salinity and oxygen content. The observations are collected at GEOMAR or at other international data centers. Thus, variability and changes can be documented. Ocean models can be verified, eventually leading to more precise climate predictions. A research focus is on the Gulf Stream system. Model-based climate predictions indicate that global warming could weaken the oceanic circulation, but Europe's heat pump won't come to a complete stop. To understand the climate system, it is essential to take a look at the past. Information covering thousands of years is stored in ice and sediment cores and in the shells and skeletons of calcifying organisms. Just like detectives, paleo-oceanographers unravel the climatic conditions of the geological past. All this information indicates that never before the climate has changed as fast and as radically as today. Marine resources. Will the oceans help us to meet the future demands for raw materials, food and medical substances? How can the treasures of the oceans be recovered in an environmentally sound way? The autonomous underwater vehicle Abyss provides high-resolution maps of the sea floor in order to assist in the discovery of raw materials. Abyss can operate independently for up to 22 hours and survey the oceans to a depth of 6,000 meters. 
In this way, geologists are able to discover resources like copper, zinc, silver, gold, and rare elements such as indium, gallium, and germanium. The remotely operated vehicle Roth Kiel 6000 is used to explore promising deposits more closely. Eyes and arms in the deep. Via monitors, scientists are able to investigate black smokers in real time. These vents, which can have temperatures greater than 400 degrees Celsius, transfer precious metals and trace elements from beneath the Earth's surface to the sea floor. Can they be mined carefully? Would it be worthwhile? An initial examination of the samples commences as soon as they are on board ship. However, only through detailed analyses back at the Institute's laboratories, the exact composition and content of the ores can be determined. Industry is strongly interested in the results as the demand for metals for use in high technology products continues to rise. Methane hydrate. Scientists unearth the frozen natural gas with a large grab. Only at high pressures and low temperatures, it is stable. On board the ship, it quickly evaporates. Are we able to use this energy in an environmentally friendly way? Can the yield be maximized by extracting the gas hydrate with the help of carbon dioxide? Can carbon dioxide thus be stored safely? This innovative approach is being investigated by GeoMars staff. GeoMars search for valuable materials continues just around the corner. In the Kiel Fjord, scientists discover compounds for medicines. Microorganisms living on marine algae and sponges produce substances that may help to develop new medicines, cosmetics and foods. Perhaps even the cure for cancer can be found in the ocean. Fish stocks under pressure. Climate change and overfishing endanger many important species. How would the marine ecosystem change if they were lost? Will the oceans be able to continue supplying food for humans? Through long-term observations, experiments and genetic research, biologists from Kiel try to find out which environmental factors pose a particular threat to cod, herring or eel. This information enables them to provide advice for sustainable fisheries management. Stable stocks with high yields, recommendations from Kiel are incorporated into the decision-making processes of the European Union. Aquaculture. Onshore fish farming offers both opportunities and risks. Together with its partners, GeoMar is testing new methods to improve the breeding of larvae, minimize diseases and strengthen the immune systems of fish. Marine natural hazards. Inhabitants of coastal areas are exposed to specific risks. In addition to storm tides, some regions of our planet may be endangered by earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and tsunamis evoked by the movement of tectonic plates. Researchers from Kiel are investigating tectonic processes that are able to initiate dangerous earthquakes or tsunamis. Their developments already contribute to public warning systems for tsunamis. An ocean bottom seismometer from Kiel is placed at the sea floor close to the Indonesian coast. Additionally, the fundamental research on land also helps with the early detection of risks potentially providing early warnings to endangered populations. Scientists from GeoMar Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research Kiel face the challenges raised by the future ocean. They are active around the world and participate in international research networks. Thanks to their findings, the effects of climate change can be estimated more clearly. 
Plans for the sustainable use of marine resources can be developed and protection against marine natural hazards can be improved. Research at GEOMAR helps to understand the past and the present and to shape our future.